All right, so now that we have our initial payment breakdown where my payment amount will be this amount and it will be different for each one of you and the interest expense will be based on the interest rate for that, the uh, accrued interest for that month. Whatever is left from your payment will go to reduce the principal on the note that we owe on the loan and the balance after that payment will be the difference between the previous month's balance minus the amount that went to your principal that particular month. All right, so can we expand this? Certainly, we can do this plus one, and we can go all the way to 60 something. We wanna go to um, 60 months. Um, let's go ahead and do a date function. And we can certainly do a quick date function by saying I am gonna uh, do an if statement. If this date, if the month of this date is equal to December, then I gotta create a date that starts in the next year, right? So the year would be this plus one, comma, the month will always be the first and the day will be the 31st. Otherwise, if it's not the last month of the year, then we want to add a month to the same year. So we'll say the date that we're trying to create be the same year as this. And I have already an error here. Let's do year. OK, and so the year would be this the same year as before. The month will be the month from the previous cell, and we're gonna force it to go two months. So if it was January, I'm gonna force it to go to March the 1st, right? And then I'm gonna take away a day so it can go back to the last day of the previous month. In essence, um, that should give us 228, because that is a mobile date that's always changing. That's 28, the 31st, and now that I do this, I should be able to 430, 531. So that, that worked. That is a nice formula. That gives us the last day of the month in a spreadsheet. Uh, and then this amount, always going to be the same for all the months. So I can just copy paste that amount. And it's the same for everything. Um, the interest is going to be calculated by looking at the balance from the previous month minus uh, times the actual accrued interest. The principal is always going to be your payment amount minus, minus your interest expense, and your balance is always going to be this. So I can just copy this all the way down to the end, and then we'll have the end of our amortization table, which is going to